This is the story of a bar located in the middle of South Dakota and the fever dream of a madman named Richard Rawlings, who had a vision of building a place worthy of being called the best looking party in the Black Hills. This is Gas Monkey Sturgis, so sit back, crack open a cold one, and get you some of that. When Gas Monkey or, or myself do something, we like to kick the doors in and do it right and do it in a pretty spectacular fashion. So this project that we're going up to Sturgis for is going to be pretty massive and it's a pretty big move for us, but especially because we're a thousand miles apart. But I've been looking at it for a couple of years and I wanted to get down and, uh, you know, really make something kick ass happen. So we're putting together the A team on this. Everybody's going and I think everybody knows what's happening except for Daphne. So don't tell her, but uh, we're bringing uh, Josh, we're bringing the, the millennials with the cameras and I'm going to need some extra, extra help with this because I can't dump it on Daphne because she's got enough going on with the 72,000 million other things that I do on a daily basis that sometimes piss her off. So what we're going to do is uh, get Margaret in here and uh, tell her what I need because if I'm correct, I think that she used to bartend and I think she still does maybe for some part-time cash. So uh, this might be a big way for her to help us out. Margaret, you're the next contestant on what the f Yay. What's up? Um, okay, so uh, I decided that I'm gonna take you to Sturgis with us. Okay. Now I just told Daphne that we're going and I don't really wanna let the cat out of the bag, but you like worked bartending when I met you and then you uh, also still kind of did it, right? So you understand how a bar works and functions yeah. and all you that quite literally took me from a bar and put me here so well now i'm putting you in a bar so okay. we're going full circle yeah maybe maybe if i can get this deal done but i don't want daphne to know anything about it but what i need you to do is get with the city of sturgis okay. i'm going to give you a couple of numbers to the guy that i'm talking to up there trying to negotiate this deal and i need to meet with as many people as i possibly can i don't care if they're soda distributors beer distributors uh, signage, permits, uh, electricians, plumbers, uh, construction dudes, anything and everything that I need to pull this off in quick fashion because the locals like you to be open all year round. They don't really care for uh, what they call the rally people. So I'm planning on trying to be open all year round. So I want to do it right. Uh, Dave, the guy that I've been talking to about buying this place is going to be super helpful. He loves it that we might be coming up there. But it's going to be a hell of a lot of digging for you to find all the right people. Okay, so we have our work cut out for us. No, you do. See, oh, I, I do. <laughs> I just handed you. I just okay. handed you that work. Just get with Dave. Uh, we don't have the deal completely done yet. And don't let Daphne know what's going on. Uh, because if I get this place bought and we have Gas Monkey Sturgis, that's going to be freaking kick-ass. Okay, so also what you're telling me is that when Daphne flips out, it's not your fault. It's mine now. Well, I am kind of shifting the blame a little bit. Okay. Because, see, I'm not doing anything but making the deal. But you're making the business. So get you some of that. All right. Let's do it. What's up, Margaret and Josh? Up early? Digging it? I'm doing it. Yeah. What's up? Hi. Yeah. Hey, brother. How are you? Sweet. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you. Okay, excellent. You guys ready? We're ready, yeah. brother. Curious is going to be right. <laughs> what do you got to be curious about? I mean, no, we're just going, right? We're just going. All right. Here comes Daphne. What? What are y'all doing here? Good morning, Daphne. Hello. I mean, is this going to be a big party? Are we actually going on vacation? No, we're not going on vacation. We're going to do some business. Mike's going with us, too. Tells me there's a one-of-a-kind buy, and I can't wait to see it. I did bring the checkbook. All right. We got money. Yeah. Okay. And Mike's got a plane, so let's get on and get gone. All right. Here I'm go. ready. Go! Hey, Daphne, now that you've ridden in the lap of luxury, do you know what uh, they're going to look at or not? I do not. <laughs> Everybody else does. <laughs> So we had a nice little flight on the nice little jet and uh, we just landed at Spearfish. I understand it's about 10 minutes from where we're going. Uh, we're going to get down to uh, literally the epicenter of the Black Hills Rally, the, the corner of Junction in Maine. And 
and uh, see if we can't get something done. It takes me a little bit of time to get out of the car there. Well, why'd they make you sit in the back? I don't know. So are uh, we having lunch? Uh, well, we're going to meet this gentleman here. I, I believe so. You must be Dave. Yep, I'm Dave. Dave, how you doing? Good. Nice to meet you. This gentleman is uh, Nick. my son, Nick. Son, Nick. Hey, look at this. These guys look like they're in the same club. Yeah, they do. Four, four, Dave, fourth Nick. generation of the pizza. I'm Daphne. So Daphne, uh, Mike Sisk, Margaret, and Josh. Show me around what you got here. I know you got a really kick-ass garage. Um, we can take it however you want to see. Go over and take a look at that first. Yeah. I thought we were having lunch. Right here is literally where they put the first stop sign. Right there on that big black thing, it says, Welcome to the Black Hills Rally. And boom, you come into Sturgis. Literally 75% of the people come up Junction Avenue right here. That's the Sturgis Harley Davidson dealership. A hundred feet down there is the corner of Junction and Main, which is the literal epicenter of what's going on. This guy's got a pretty cool place here. I've been here a few times. He's got good pizza. Do you know what the origins of this building were? Because it looks like it was a service station. Yeah, they did oil changes to the rally quite a few years and some other service work. But I mean, I'm talking like originally, originally. I've got no clue. I love the brick floor. Do we know why it's raised? And it's raised concrete, isn't it? How long have you owned the place? For two years. Roof is cool. Why are you asking so many questions about the building? I just dig the place. I didn't see this. It's like a little office. Could be a bedroom. It's very dark in there. Is that a bathroom? It is, Daphne. Look. There you very nice, very sanitary. I won't tell you what this reminds me of. Look at that. That looks like somewhere somebody could probably poop. That looks like somebody did already do that. Is this where we're gonna eat? Are these windows sealed or do they still go open to one? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure either. Are they windows if they have electrical in them? They're electric Maybe they're electric windows. <laughs> Oh, the Boom. fun, the fun bunch. Let's go check out this other side, sis. You see what I'm saying about these right here next to the Harley shop? This has got such a cool exterior. But just imagine 200,000 bikes everywhere. There's bikes everywhere. Everywhere, Daphne. Okay, what are, you, what are y'all trying to tell me? Look, I've been here a few times. We serve good pizza. We're a little bit early for the lunch crowd. I mean, there's gonna be like probably six or 12 people in there later. What does Swint mean? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Mm -hmm. During a rally, you usually, like, I think I've seen where you rent this out to like a Mr. Fix-It dude or something like that. Through, through the years, they've had a lot of different repair, repair, repair places in here. What about the parking? Oh, the parking's been different for you know one year we rented it out for food food vendors and then last year we just offered uh, free free parking to the motorcycles you know instead of charging we just let people come in are you it. able to put like beer tubs out here yep, the the beer and wine license goes to this whole property okay at, at one time you know shade is a really big thing in that you know in that month and this would make a good place to get out of the shade too Super cool. What, um, on the back line, does the, I think the property line is right along the building, isn't it? There's like not even three or four feet. It's like on right, the building. That, and that's the, that's an alley that goes through there. So it is an easement. Yep, there's an easement to go through there. Okay. Something's really strange here. Well, yeah, Richard's here. Basically what I'm getting, he just, he's really into the history of Sturgis. I mean, you know this, he's, he's got bikes. He's got motorcycles. I can't right. I don't see any bikes or motorcycles around it's, here. All I, I see not yet. Not yet. Yeah. All I see is a pizza sign. 
Well, we know that Richard loves pizza. I know, and that's... A lot. I know, but... We might have... Is that why we flew? We flew all the way here for Surely, some pizza. Surely, no. Yeah. No, we didn't fly here for pizza. When we walk around to the other side, mm -hmm. is there going to be like a crazy sign, some kind of crazy car, crazy... What kind of crazy thing is he trying to buy? There you go. Crazy. I think he's trying to throw me off. It's a crazy thing. I don't know. How crazy is crazy? Yep. What do you think, buddy? Because I think Daphne's going to figure it out before we get to tell her. Well, I think we're in the parking lot. It's not what we want. We want to buy the damn place. Well, that's what I want to do. That's well, why we've been working on it. Let's make an offer. All right. We can do that. Let's go inside and see what he's got going on with the kitchen and stuff. wondering what's gas monkey thinking about going to Sturgis what's Richard doing well I got kind of a theory on a couple of things uh, one uh, I've looked at this place and lots of other places around here for a few years because I think having a spot in Sturgis is kind of a feather in the cap and something really good for gas monkey garage and then uh, two I don't want to be a rally business I really want this to be a local business because six to seven months a year this town is kind of dead, but everybody that lives around here, you know, within a 30 mile stretch each way, needs somewhere to go have a cold beer and a hot pizza and a good meal. Uh, so I want to build something that's long lasting like that. And I think this is a prime opportunity to get involved with a business that not only do we own the dirt, but we are also a premium business here with cold beer, hot pizza, whatever else we can cook in a pizza oven and, you know, make it a badass destination place because you know, we're worldwide. Gas Monkey is literally in a hundred and something countries, translated into 20 something languages. And to have a Gas Monkey Sturgis shirt that you can get and you can ride your bike or you can wear it proudly at the swap meet or whatever, that to me is badass. And that's advancing the Gas Monkey brand. And that's kind of what I do. I advance the Gas Monkey brand. What's with all the questions? I mean, I'm getting antsy. I don't understand. You're asking a lot of questions. I thought we were stopping here for lunch, and... Well, you want me to tell you before lunch or after lunch? I don't know, all I'm drinking is water. Looks like it's got vodka in it. No, it's just water. Me and Mike want to buy the place. I love pizza. And I love drinking. And I like drinking out while I'm eating pizza. And I like Sturgis. I volunteer. I just, you're oh. drinking a pizza, Daphne. I'm sorry. It's the one thing he hasn't done. He's so never a pizza all job. of y'all, we're in on this. Yeah, we have a lot of meetings this afternoon. As, as long as we can get a deal done with Dave on a final prize. And you Margaret's, brought the checkbook. Margaret's and y'all just had me bring the checkbook. Well, you got a, you got a nice flight on a private jet. I'm glad I did. Thank you. Quite well, well. You might get to fly home if you <laughs> come around to our line of thinking, or I can stick you on Southwest. We're serious. Just imagine, two hundred thousand bucks. This place full. Parking lot with vendors. And and we'll show you around later. You haven't been to Sturgis. That's the that's the Sturgis Harley Davidson dealership. This yeah, is the corner no. of Junction. Man. Okay. If you've ever seen any of the pictures I take when I come up here, and there's bikes everywhere. It's right there on that corner. Okay. The city starts right here. Okay. And I'm assuming since Margaret knew all about that or about this she's done all the due diligence well no, no, no i wouldn't I, go that far okay i just told her that like sure. wow. he likes to drink. so much faith well <laughs> that's it no due diligence the way she's talking about is like insurance stuff and government stuff i just told uh margaret that i needed to talk to you know vendors and uh, the, the beer dudes the soda people the ice people the food people the uh, people for people, whoever sells mops and buckets around here. Uh, but imagine if we've got the literally the entry to Sturgis okay. for the bike rally all right. right there. We've got all our t-shirt girls out there slinging shirts. We've got tables and chairs and slinging beer and we're slinging pizza by the slice in here. You and put a little gas monkey magic in here. Little. Daphne, maybe some little signs are not a gas Big all, signs. All Big that signs. stuff that I collect. All the, oh, yes. Okay, stuff. here we go. I'm, I'm getting stuff. it, I'm getting it. Okay. Well, here's the hard part. It's a million bucks. <laughs> it's 
So are we all going home on Southwest? We might have to start <laughs> saving some money. <laughs> Mike's doing a development up the way in Leeds and okay. building a, a bunch of homes. There's a new country club going in up there with uh, a bunch of homes. There's going to be a lot of This is a five to ten year play. It's a place you could retire to. You could be a beer head. <laughs> Slinging shots, slinging beers, eating pie. Oh, pause. It's a great way to retire and still work for me. Nice. <laughs> nice. Okay. I, I like the idea of retirement. I do. Um, I don't know. I have to see the numbers. Do I get to see the numbers at least? They said it's a million dollars. And that's it? Yeah. And he's closing down like tomorrow. So zero income and a million dollars. And that's our due diligence, that's it? Sort of. I mean, it is Sturgis. It's pretty easy up here. We, we, just, we get a license for over. this, get a license for that. Are we doing this? Mike, ready to make an offer? I'm ready to make an offer. Dave? I was ready to make an offer when I got here. So, you're at 1-2. I know I can't use your name. You said 1. Hey, shh. This is a negotiation. You leave this part to me. Oh, sorry. Golly. So I know I can't keep the name AB because that's been in your family since what, 69? Since 1969, yep. 1969 was a perfect year. Happens to be the year I was born. <laughs> uh, but uh, you're one, two. Me and Mike want to be at a minute. Just a nice round number. Just a nice round number. Kick ass. Boom. Congratulations. Thank you, man. Thank you, sir. You bet. I think, thank you. <laughs> now we drink. Now we bought a bar 1,000 miles away from home that somebody's got to run. And uh, by the way, you and uh, Margaret have a lot of appointments whoa, this afternoon. Whoa, whoa, Mike, the bar's whoa, over here. Whoa. <laughs>
I've been working hard. I've done quite a bit. All right, so. and you must be uh, CJ. Correct. Richard Rawlings. Nice to meet you. And you're gonna run this uh, crazy operation for us. We're gonna be wild to have fun and make money. Well, I like the, the last part, and I like the middle part, and I like, I, you know, I like wild and have fun and make money. It's, it's a good thing to have. But, um, so, uh, Daphne, I know, and uh, Margaret talked with you and decided that uh, you're our candidate and you're the new uh, general operations person de resistance of uh, all of Gas Monkey Sturgis. You ready to handle this? I am ready. Are I'm sure? excited. I'm ready. Bring it. All right, well, you look like a tough girl, but I think I can take you in a spaghetti wrestling. I'm redneck from Let's go. Um, yeah, let's go. <laughs> well, we got our work cut out for you, and uh, I know that you've got uh, some people uh, on your team that you think might come across. Um, while I'm new in town, I don't want to piss off the locals, but if there's really good employees out there to have, I, I want them. Absolutely. Um, I've got a great following as far as staff and connections so they're excited we've kind of put the word out a little bit and they're chomping at the bit to meet with you and see what they can do my email's even blowing up they're like you're coming to Sturgis I want to work for you da, 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 and all this and I'm like I don't even know a whole lot I've been here five times during rally and a couple of times talking to Dave about buying this bar and uh here we are now we own it and uh what's up with the uh tape on the floor that's my imaginary bar that you will need to approve so we can get it going all right, we'll get after that. She's a go-getter. Yeah, we weren't wasting any time. We're you ready didn't for remove you. all the coolers, did you? Is there's one with beer in it? There's one. All right, y'all go amongst yourselves. I'll find that. Oh, no. They took the whole fucker out. There was no reason to take anything out from the fucking doors. What'd they take out? My entire slope right here. I had a nice, sexy slope. They were supposed to build the same thing on the other side of the slope. And he was given the direction to do two steps. I know. And who the fuck does steps coming out of a bar? I don't know. That's what I remember God him saying. God damn it. Golly, I'm having a hard time getting over my frustration that they just come in here and fuck shit up for no reason. Arranged. The water just has to come here and a drain, which they were already here. They've looked at it. Yeah, but they still got to take it all the way over there, too. Yep, they know it's going through the channel with all the other stuff, the, the drainage. Um, when the contractors who were is, here. Who is these contractors? Because that dude. That's one of them. OK, well, that dude doesn't know what the fuck's going on. And he's, he's like, well, I don't know. I was going to sweep, get some boys out here this afternoon to sweep. And I'm like, well, when? Well, you know, later. I mean, I've got big fucking problems. There's a lot of work to happen in 35, 40 days. The garage doors need to be raised like I raised them at the other's place so that they're out of the fucking way. The, the, the air conditioning needs a Y so that it goes down the other side. The, they're not even started the plumbing. Fuck. I mean, at this rate, we'd be open in the parking lot in August. I bit off a little more than I can chew right this second. I'm not giving up the fight. You know, I'm still going to, I'm still going to keep trying to get this happen, but we're at deadline uh, is July 10th. We've got to be open long enough for our, our, our bartenders and our servers to get uh, acclimated and, and, and the kitchen cooks making and doing what they do. Um, my problem is, is I, I had a guy and it didn't work out. And so I wasted about 35 days of my intended deadline. Uh, so I came up here with Daphne who has the checkbook and the whip and uh, we're trying to get it into shape, but there's a lot. We've got cement work, we've got blacktop work, we've got walls that need to be moved, we've got bathrooms that need to be built, we've got merch rooms that need to be built. The guys had pure hell driving up here with all of the merchandise uh, and uh, accoutrements. And if you don't know what that is, look it up, it's a pretty cool word. And uh, now I'm, I think I'm gonna be stuck here for a while, or at least coming up here a couple of times a week to make sure that we make our path and make it done. Um, as you can tell by my demeanor, I'm a little overwhelmed. Uh, usually I'm either happy or sad or pissed off or whatever. And today I'm just lost. Hopefully you're my guy. I'm your guy. Richard Rollins. Leave my Kostopoulos, full curl. What's the last name? Kostopoulos. K 
Christopolis, is that like Greek? It is as Greek as it gets. That's freaking right. You know, as a GC, you got concrete guys, blacktop guys, sheetrock guys, paint guys. I've got the network start to finish. Start to finish. Well, that's what I need is someone to handle start to finish because I can be up here a couple of times a week or whatever I need, but I've got 30 days now. I had 65 and I wasted 35. Are there any architectural drawings or does this dream live in your head? It lives in my head. That's where everything from Gas Monkey comes from. But uh, it's pretty simple. This is just moving a few walls and just adjusting it. Because this place has been uh, kind of what it's been for, I don't know, five or six years. And it's been a couple of different names. I want people to see it, know that it's different, know that it's badass and that they want to be here. Plus, you know, as well as I do, right there, they put the temporary stop sign and that banner is Black Hills Rally number 84 this year. And this is where everybody stops. You know, 90% of the traffic that comes into Sturgis comes down Junction. And I want them to come in here and have a good time, drink some beers and uh, buy some swag and get on down with it. I'm Levi Kostopoulos, I own Full Curl Construction. I'm a general contractor here in the Black Hills of South Dakota. Over the last three or four years, I've created quite the network here in the hills. It's taken a long time to do so, but I've got a really good team behind me right now. I'm meeting a painter. We're gonna do some interior painting, some exterior painting, get that all, all shaped up and taken care of. I uh, had my HVAC company and refrigeration guys come out. We're gonna need to move some walls inside, extend the bar, the service area for the restaurant. I had my plumber come out. We're gonna cut up some concrete floors, add some new drain lines. Uh, and, and then patch the concrete and the actual flooring. So uh, we were kind of pulling out all the stops, getting all the subs out here to try to come up with the best game plan we can and start our, our uh, near impossible schedule. to have this this space of cool factor coming through here you know you've got to have this bar pushed back so that it's we've got it's not just the space out here but it's just period um so i should have just fucking stayed last week i knew it was going to be hard trying to do something uh with over a thousand miles distance between us uh all in all we're in great shape, uh, especially compared to where we were four or five days ago when I was up here. But uh, we've got a little bit of mismeasurement on where we want the bar and how it's gonna have to work because we're having to you know, cut holes and dig up concrete and put in drainage and water and sewer and everything else. The biggest kicker on this project is I came on and, and kind of picked up some pieces that were fumbled, it sounds like a little bit. And the, the, from the very beginning, we have hard stops. We have deadlines, timelines that we have to be. Obviously, ultimately, we have to be open by the rally, but we need to be open before the rally for servers, bartenders, everything to have a test run and a test fit and make sure everything's up and going. So I couldn't, when I took this job on, I couldn't just sit down and look at these blueprints and the plans and, and get with my subs and decide how long everything's gonna take and really schedule everything out because there's no blueprints and there's no plans. So the, so the hardest thing is Richard will fly in and make changes. Not in a negative way, not like you screwed this up or it's not good, just like, okay, now that we've changed this, it kind of changes the vibe of this a little bit and we're gonna add this and subtract this and I wanna do this, it'll make it cooler. But every time we make a change, you're at least a day, if not two, sometimes three on the timeline. And so we're really changing or have changed the scope of work, added to the scope of work but we haven't really necessarily sat down and talked about changing the timelines. So that's one thing that's been stressing me out and kind of keeping me up at night is I just, I want to come through, I want to succeed, I want to meet my deadlines. I don't want to fail anybody. I take this real personal because um, my name is on it at the end of the day and um, everyone's seeing this obviously. So I think we've been combating it well. I think we're in good shape, but uh, I've been stressing that maybe not everyone would be realistic of the timeline shifting 
with the scope of work shifting. But so far, we're in good shape, and everyone understands and realizes that when you add more work to it, you got to add more time to it, period. Just show me where you want your bar, and that's where we'll put it. I'm trying to figure that out because my problem is I need this pass through. I need people to be able to see that room and be enticed to go this way. And I can't block going in there. That was not the idea. We were shifting it back. This should be the front of the bar. So if that's the case, can we put a 90 in that? Could you cut this off? Well, basically what we went this way with, we need to go this way with. Sorry, you gotta cut the hole again. Apple. Guys, yes. this, this is a no, because um, it, it's just way out here in the open. If we can shift it down to where the window is here and here, that's better. It's, we can it, shift it and shrink it. it I don't think it has to be shrunk so much. It's, this, this size is fine. It's six feet right now, um, basically. If we can go to five, that's more than enough. Okay. So five foot window. Exact same dimensions down to here. Another to reason five. that that's good is because we're not right in front of the women's restroom coming out and looking in the kitchen or vice versa. Right. And we're closer to the service. <laughs> Here we are. When it comes to the kitchen expansion, um, what they put in there was a good idea and it probably would have worked, but it's not as form and function as I'd like to have. And I don't want somebody walking out of the restroom and staring straight into my kitchen or vice versa. So I had to shift that uh, server window and get it down. If that's the worst of the day, I'm pretty happy with it. But uh, it's, it's the things that could have been avoided if I was able to be here 24 seven. And that's just not possible right now. Oh, hey, yeah. I got, I got all the measurements for the bar. I got material here on site, everything we're gonna need. So we can go ahead and build that first thing in the morning. What's up, Levi? Richard, how are you? Well, it's not about how I am. It's about how you are and this is. I'm sleepless. Come on, man, you got guys doing all the work, you're just managing, right? Yeah, that's the story. <laughs> <laughs> I got Sean here, he's looking at the building around the outside and everything. So um, I was gonna walk through with you and do a quick checklist of just things I know that need to go away. Bar. It's beautiful and perfect, right? No, we went too far this way. This is, once you add the bar top and the stools and even the girl coming out here, if she's got people right there, she's gonna be against the wall trying to get out. So I need to bring it in three feet or so. I want this to be an inviting area. I want this to be an area where people, you know, rustle up to the bar, rustle outside to see their friends, you know, especially during season. I want people packing this out, seeing what's going on. And I got to get this wall in here. This How area. Far? Three feet. All right. Look at, I love it when I'm right. Look at how much better this looks. How much more room I have here. This is congressional area. This is rad. This is better. Uh, what I like about Richard is he's very assertive. He knows what he wants. So as long as, and it took me about 30 seconds to realize this, if he wants your opinion, he'll ask you for it. 
if not, he'll give you his opinion and he just expects me to get it done. And I've, I'm perfectly fine with that. That's, that's fine. That's how this project goes. At the end of the day, it's his project. It's his money. It's his baby. It's his brand. It's his name. Whatever he wants, uh, I'll do. He does ask me for my opinion a lot. And uh, he's always been super cool when I've bounced different opposing ideas off of him. If he'll come to me and say, I want this, I'll say, okay, I can do that. If we do that, maybe this, this, and this can happen. Um, but it's it, we haven't run into any like hard nose issues yet that we haven't been able to, to work out in a matter of minutes. From the garage door right here, around to the, all the way to the back of the building, uh, we'll leave the front of the building and that other spot where it says Sturgis Motorcycle Repair, we'll leave that. But these pieces aren't long enough to accomplish what I want. So I just bought another whole set um, out of South Texas that's 19 feet tall. Okay. So we'll whack it where we need to, follow the roof, and then we can use the little pieces wherever we want. Probably, a, we'll probably run a, a, a chair railing or what, are, what do they call that? Wayne's, Wayne's coating. Yeah. Wayne's coating. Yeah, I'm learning all this technical uh, construction shit. Depends on shit. what part of the country you're in, what they call it. It's yeah. cot or coat, whatever. We'll probably run something like that around the restroom, in the men's room. Yeah. Something a little different in the women's. But uh, we're going to have plenty. But that's going to look cool. We finished this building like this, it'll look badass. So this is when the uh, the big ta-da, I guess, uh, besides the grand opening, is of course our sign going up. And uh, we retrofitted one of our older signs to uh, say Sturgis. These guys are uh, operating on it right now and they're gonna get it hung up. My problem is, is where I thought I was gonna hang it uh, once we raised the pergolas to the proper height. I don't have the room and you can't see it from the street. So I'm gonna have to move it to center it over the door and uh, so not that big a deal, but a good thing I got up at five this morning to come up here because they might have made that decision without me and then I would have been upset. This always makes me nervous because once you start hanging something this big, it's not real easy to change it. So we got one chance to stab it and get it right. But these guys seem like they're professionals. I mean, they got buckets and cranes and stuff. That this sign mounted was on a gable so you can see this flat part and then the monkey was over here at the end my thought process on this one was here grab grab that piece and put it way over here and then put your gas monkey piece there on the end It goes like that. Okay. And he follows the gable. That's good yeah. So decision making time is because he's already weathered and battered. I had him going on the back of the building, just right up against that. We'll cut a hole in him or whatever to go under that or that gas line. You know, it looks pretty good, but the reason I brought it up here is this is the side of the building that it gets the most weather in the winter and the most wind and the most hail and the most everything. And it was already beat up a little bit. We replaced it on um, a corporate offices deck there on Merrill Road. So um, I think it's enough. 
it, it's not exactly uh, super sexy because it's a little beat down, but then again, what do they call that? Patina? Yeah, get you some. So there you go. It is not Gas Monkey until Gas Monkey puts a mark on it. And we did so today. It's going to look badass at night. I'm really excited. The guys from Skyline Signs down in Rapid City really helped me out, giving them a little shameless plug because they deserve it. Uh, we got this sign all the way up here from Dallas, got it up in the air, got it centered. We're one step closer to being open for business. <laughs> So there's a dude here that I traded a couple of years ago. He makes leather, uh, Sturgis Leather Company here. And he does it the old school way. And I traded him a Carmen Ghia one time for a, a couple of really cool leather made old signs it, like you would see at the carnivals and fairs back in the early uh, 1900s. And I've got an idea for my little bar here in Sturgis. I just don't know if uh, he has the space because it's like 60 feet long. What's up, my man? Hey, what's up, buddy? Whew. Living the dream? Well, no, sir. You are living the dream. You're here doing your craft, and I'm out there <laughs> trying to make money doing whatever the hell it is that I do. But uh, nice. I've got a, you know, remember the banners we traded for that yeah. uh, you got the Carmen Ghia? And so similar to what you have here, but I like it where they have the, the leather on the corners and stuff like that. I need one that is 60 feet by roughly five. These are rough, but 60 by five feet. 60. Yeah, like, well, about the length of your store here, I guess. Oh, that's huge. You know the place I'm buying over here, the, the old A&B pizza, and we're turning it into Gas Monkey Sturgis, and they have those two poles. It's about 60 feet, yep, and yep. I want to do something that's kick-ass and really wild so what do you think is it doable will it last i'm gonna you know run it during the season like this and then pull it down in the winter yeah if you mount it on a hard back it's 60 foot so even if you have connectors in the middle they tend to drape wrinkle in the wind but i'm only going to leave it up from let's say june to september and be done so, but I wanted to hand paint like this and I don't know what I wanted to say yet. I thought that was a 30 foot banner when we had looked at it. I had looked at it one day and. I don't really remember. I might be wrong in five, my numbers. Five by 30. Uh, let me look. Let me get out my uh, CNI devices. I'd go in there and custom sew one up because that's, that's an odd think, size. Do we double lap it? Yeah. And I double roll the edges, do the big eyelets, and then we'd figure out the exact distance, cable to cable. So I get my seams right. Here it is, banner dimensions. The banner would be 54 feet long and 45 inches between the cables. <laughs> so 54 feet by 45 inches and then an eyelet every one foot. Yep. And I'm not so sure that it's not, do we cut those little uh, half moons in it here and there? Not on canvas. I wouldn't so, want to. No. Double cable, that's a long ways. Eight, eight eyelets, if we did leather straps. What do you no, think? I'm cool with just, just kind of over embellished leather straps in the corners. And the rest hang just, there. Yeah. yeah. Over embellished leather straps on the corners and just uh, the eyelets the rest of the way every foot. I don't yep. need leather straps every every time we have an eyelet. Yep, yep. Maybe do another set in the middle just for show. Absolutely. Yep. Those are decorative and the rest are for uh, get up and go. What do you want to say? That I've got to figure out. <laughs>
I want to do it in the, the same kind of lettering you're doing up here. Uh, if you do it in a slant like that, maybe underneath we can do uh, my slogan, which is like blood, sweat, and beers, or we can do like liquor, beer, wine, or we can do um, get you some of that. Uh, I, I really thought of a funny thing because they have the big sign right there at that corner that'll go up in about a week that says the Black Hills 84th Rally or whatever it is. And uh, I thought it would say, Gas Monkey brought to you by, and then it goes to the other banner, the Black Hills. <laughs> <laughs> Little spoof on their game. Oh, that would be so good. <laughs> but I don't want to piss the city off my first year out. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, what year were you established? Uh, I was established 2004. Uh, the bar, obviously, is 2024. Um, and we're, we're arguing in our heads about how we, how we present that. Cause if we say 2004 here, it's a great marketing ploy, but it's kind of a lie. And if I say 2024, I was established in 1964. That's when you were born. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. You got me by five. I was 69, mm -hmm. but we're still sixties boys. So, um, <laughs> this lettering, like you do here, you do this. Yeah. Okay, so I've got another project too. Can you do it on a cement wall? Because I have that wall right there on my white building that says Sturgis Cycle Factory Train Technicians. It has about, I don't know, six feet underneath it that I'd like to put and trained monkeys. That gets to be a project, but I do have mural guys. Okay. There's a mural right across the street. I don't need a mural, it's just lettering. It's just this. Just lettering. Okay. Just lettering. Okay. That's all it is. Uh, I just want to match sort of what's there and emphasize that there's also uh, monkeys. But I'm thinking what, four or five grand? 54. Hmm. Oh, and I'm not even coming in and help you do it. Wait a second. Don't be putting a plus on that. There's no plus for my help. It's a minus for my help. He's trying to add. I'll charge you. They're, <laughs> they're cheap lessons, yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Eyelets are a dollar a piece. That's a hundred bucks. <laughs> nah, we'll work it out. I'm not gonna stick you to the to the money on the thing, but okay. um price but, it out. Give me a call here in a, in a few hours and tell me what's up. But and, and feel free to go by there and kind of look at it. Uh, I will I'll do and a drive see what by. you think. This thing is huge. But it'll be fucking cool. Yeah. Huge. And I, you know, and you can put your logo on there somewhere and let me cost out the supplies. And I want to have, that. actually, in my gift shop, I'd like to have or design something pretty cool that you make for us here so that we can say it's, you know, 100% local Sturgis made, USA made, all that kind of stuff, and have a little rack of probably just like leather bracelets like I used to wear in the beginning of Fast and Loud. Um, you got to look at my new showcase of the good stuff. That's what I mean. Yeah. The real deal so maybe there. I just have a rack of bracelets there that I buy from you wholesale and we mm -hmm. sell them and, and also say there's shitloads more if you go over to Sturgis Leather. Yeah. It's been there since 1964 when he was shitting his pants. Yeah. Stuff like that. Exactly. His old man had him in there. There you go. 18 yards of fabric. Wow, that's huge. I'm going to have to get a cost on that. All right. Well, you got yeah. me. Give me a holler, brother. Yeah, we'll kick that around and we'll make it work. Cool. We'll make something work. All right, buddy. I love it. making me do manual labor at my own place. <laughs> I'll see if I can get you free drinks. <laughs> Nobody's getting free drinks. You don't make any money giving it away. Look at that. Kind of looks primitive right now, but I'm getting the idea. It's not really sitting fair, is it? It will. It will? It will. Yeah, we'll come in here, build some support walls out on this inside. I can't build the supports out yet because I don't know where all the equipment's gonna sit. So once we get the supports in place, everything's gonna get secured. We'll come in with a thick bar top resin, give it a nice shine, better durability. What are you gonna do on this side? Cause I don't want those metal support Nothing on looking that side. things. It's all gonna be supported on this side. Cause this side's only gonna have an eight inch overhang. This side's gonna have like a 12 inch overhang. Okay. So gravity, the resin, 
and the bracketry that I do under here with my support walls. Everything will be supported from here. And then no one's busting their knees on anything. Yeah, I don't want that. That's what I was saying. But you won't have to anchor it like around a two by four under here and strap it down? No, sir. Everything on this side will do it. Killer! Today and tomorrow and the next day is going to be the major transformation day. That's when you're really going to see everything coming together. Uh, of course, we got the walls painted. We got rid of the ugly orange and black. We've got the speakers and the sound system in. We've got the bar mostly built and ready to go. Uh, a few snags with that. We'll go over that later. But uh, today's the day. You're going to see some kick-ass shit happening and probably me cry a couple of times. So what do you think? DVX system, controls? Okay. All cool. So there's, is there four systems or is there one control of everything and then there's four areas? You got four areas, main, patio, parking lot, restroom. Okay. And then select you got music, an aux cable, and your mic. Can I talk on that? Yeah. What's up? Oh, I have to turn it on or something? You got to do both? Hello. All right. No, that sounds good. And it'll be on outside too? That's badass. All right. The only place that won't play is in the bathroom. Because really don't need a microphone in the bathroom. And then you power it down. Correct. And then we have chargers somewhere for that? They're double, double A's. Okay. So then this I put, is badass. So this is all the Hertz equipment, right? Yeah, I put the Hertz on it. Yeah, you know what, you, you know what happens when you slap somebody in a high frequency? It hurts. It hurts. <laughs> <laughs> that is freaking cool. How many do we end up using? Like so 20? there's six in here, six outside, so 12 total. Well, we haven't done the second building. No, not yet. So when we do that building, everything will jam. Right. And these speakers were designed to be hung sideways, and I disassembled them and made them pendants. Okay. So they look good. No, it looks badass. Everything looks good. And outside, let's check that out. Wait. So outside, since they had this gas pipe, I kind of went with that motif. Yeah, and that then works. And ran the pipe to make it look like it's part of that. And then it goes all the way around to the other side. So this is the parking lot zone. And then we've got What's up, guys? the patio zone. Did the same thing with the piping. Do you have them aimed where you want them right now? Or? I think so. Like right here, and then I got that one point to where it goes out there. They're loud. They're really loud. But we can do final adjustments when we have everything. Yes. That is kick ass. Now, next time we get up here, we got to do that building and everything under the sand. Yeah. Look at this. Freaking 40 coupe. That's your wheelhouse right there. That's a 40. It's a deluxe too because it has two taillights. All right, so this is kind of our merchandise area. Obviously, we're going to have a ton of merchandise and tables and fixtures outside. But when it's not uh, summertime and rally season, uh, this is where people can come in and get to the t shirts and gear and all that kind of stuff. Uh, similar to what we've done at all of our other restaurants and at Gas Monkey Proper, uh, we've got a lot of really cool fixtures that we've made. And uh, first part that's got to go up is this crazy chandelier that has like 10 lights on it. And it's weird, but it's cool. Gonna turn it towards me and then you're gonna go back some as far as you can really and then turn it about that angle ish first piece of decoration is up this is the part I'm really good at that and drinking beer hey Richard how are we getting the motorcycle up there I'm gonna pop a wheelie and go up the wall
Come on, Kenny. Don't freak out. <laughs> Look at that. Usually is a lot easier when you're not up here doing it. The fan gets lost. Whose idea was it to put the fan up there first? It didn't look like it was gonna take up that much space. And now you don't even see it. So I love the way it looks. Uh, the idea of putting it on the man lift was, uh, worked out pretty easy actually. Now we gotta anchor it down so that it doesn't rock and fall or anything like that because that could hurt somebody, I'm, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> There we are, Mr. Leatherman. You showed me something, I thought it was huge. No, we're getting her laid up. There's our art to scale. Yeah. Here's your tarp. I let every foot, nice heavy piece. Hell yeah, it is. Everything's right. So how do you paint it? We go in, I'll project this. Here I have several transparencies pieced together. Find the center, work your way out, project it to scale. Trace it. Where do you have room to project it to scale? <laughs> On the back of the building, half at a time. Really? Yeah, no I'll way. hang the whole thing up and I'll move the projector across and... Does the projector work during the day? You gotta do it at night. At nighttime, sunset. That's freaking rad. Then I'll get it in and we'll put some bigger plywood on these tables and we'll spread it out here and do a fourth at a time. Wow, Let that's it dry, crazy. advance it, do a fourth, advance it. Easy greasy. Two like, weeks. I mean, two weeks? Yeah. Well, that's when Sturgis starts, isn't it? Yeah. Sure. Well, we got to get it up still. Let's do this. Let's do this within the next seven days. Have it done. Okay, I like it. Now, we're not married to these colors because you really got this cool reds, and I like this beat up stuff you do with the, the Indian red or even the red on these, and, and I like it with the dirty kind of stuff, yeah, whatever you call yeah. that, antiquing. That's dirt off the half mile racetrack. Well, I can send my right guys to go get you some. I got a bucket of it. <laughs> Here's the paint colors here. Darken it just a hair. Yeah, I was gonna Mustard say. Mustard it just a hair. No, I dig it. It's there gonna it be freaking rad, man. Lay it out, get it right. Perfect art. That monkey is easy at that scale. Hard on that scale. Oh yeah, I know. I would try making it that scale. Yeah. It was Same not with fun. all signs. These are easy at this scale. Mm -hmm. When I do the small detailed stuff. Yeah, and if you got some like little hash marks or star thing that makes it more, you know, what we do. Yeah, and I can come in and do a little asterisk with an airbrush if I want. Yeah, whatever. Go yep. go crazy, creative license. Okay, lighten uh, it up a little bit. That okay. is badass, man. Yep. See you in seven good. days. Actually, no, I'll probably send the camera guys over to film you one night, that'll be rad. We'll get this up in the alley, Super shoot cool. it, trace it, paint it. As long as nobody steals it like they did the Harley sign a few years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. You bet, see you guys. All right, so uh, about two or three months ago, Dennis Collins called me and told me that uh, he found a pretty cool little cycle shop just on the outskirts of uh, Sturgis and Rapid City. It's actually here in Hill City, kick-ass little town. And uh, this guy, uh, Scooter, uh, no pun intended, that's his name, here at Hill City Cycles, uh, has a 1947 Indian Chief that I am buying to put on the wall. How we doing, guys? Yeah. Cool little shop, I dig it. Hey. You must be Scooter. I'm Scooter. <laughs> right on. All right, What's nice the real name? Scooter, is that the nickname? Uh, nickname. Oh, yeah. cool. Yeah, I've been that for 35 years, so, yeah. So uh, you're you're the one guy in the tri-state area that knows how to work on this old stuff. Well, you know, we started four years ago, September 1st of 2020, right in the middle of, of uh, COVID and stuff. Yeah. And me and my partner bought the shop and everything and just been going strong. I mean, we work on new stuff too, but it's like no one around the hills anymore is working on the old stuff. So the story on this is, I worked on it in, in Custer here, I worked on a guy's shovel head that he bought from this farmer last year. And I was chasing it just last year. Well, finally the old farmer decided to sell it. 
So I went out and got it, and I mean, it was definitely in a barn since uh, 1988 was the last registration on the, the title and stuff, or for the, the plates. And I got it, and it's it, you can't kick it over, it's froze up. I got it here, and then Cowboy, my, my other mechanic yeah. Cowboy's wearing a derby cap. Yeah. <laughs> I was a, well, he was I was a, cowboy a real cowboy for most of my life. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. Anyway, so then um, I got it, brought it home, and I mean, there was bird poop on it, horse poop on it, and everything. And so Cowboy says, hey, let's just wash it off. Thought, okay, we washed it off, and the more and more I got looking at it, and I got two other, pro 48, I got a 57, I got other projects. I'm looking at the 57, don't worry yeah. about that. Yeah, and I'm that just, yeah, and I'm thought, <laughs> yeah. it, it just deep pockets and trying to just do it. So this other buddy of mine, Steve, that kind of does our social media, he follows you guys and Dennis and stuff, and somehow we got out there with Dennis, and like two days later, they're calling me, and the day after that, boom, I got a check in the mail, you know? Yeah, he does the same thing I do, as a matter of fact, he, he taught me a lot of what I know about it because he's been doing it a lot longer than me. Probably because he's a lot older than me and uh, <laughs> what have you. But uh, when you see where I put this in the bar, you're just going to freak. Oh, I can't wait to get up there and see it. It's it is yeah. it's going to be rad. The only bad thing is, and we're going to have to measure, but I might have to cut this bar. It's got to go further against the wall than, than oh. the space that I have. Um, but uh what if you cut that side because it's broke or that's where bent it so got bent top. yeah i could but i kind of want it facing this way oh that way yeah yeah but we, we'll figure that out when we get there that was another piece that goes on here too so and that was part of the yeah so that is so freaking yeah. cool and then I, I asked him i said whatever happened here part of the roof on the barn just a couple two by fours come down and busted that and mm. that was it you know so and so the I was going to say it almost looks like a bird strike too, because these things got fragile even when you're riding them. Right, exactly. And bird comes straight through there and hits oh, you. Oh man, bam! Just hit, <laughs> yeah, yep. So he bought it uh, in in '73. He come back out of Vietnam, bought it in '73, rode it for some years, then bought a shovelhead motorcycle, and then just ended up parking it, rode it around on the uh, on the farm a little bit. But um, yeah, so yeah, yep. That is really dope, man. Yeah, it's cool. It's yeah. But it it'll roll fine. It's not locked up. Yeah. Nope. Uh -uh. Okay. Well, go ahead and get your trailer ready. <laughs> Let's try not to wreck it, guys. It's been in pretty good shape for a very long time. Don't wreck me. Don't, don't step out. Let's get the parts and pieces. Uh, the original manual's in that box. Yeah. Okay. And uh, we'll push it in over here for now. All right, let's get it done. How long is this thing? Four foot by 50 foot. By 50? Eight sections, four gallons of paint. So how long are you going to be out here for? Uh, I'll lay it up, half of it tonight. Yeah. Probably lay half of it up tomorrow night and then bring it into the shop and work on it nightly in 16 foot section times three. So actually painting at this scale is easier because like what I'm doing lettering this high, mm -hmm. got to be perfect. This. I want it to look authentic. We're gonna dirty it up a little bit, put the leather corners on it. I'll go up to the half mile and get some more red dirt from our racetrack. Oh, some red dirt That's kind of what it. we do with all our shit. That's cool. Make it authentic, you know? Man, I'm ready to see it done. Did everybody yeah, see it hung up? up? All right, man, we have a good night, all right, brother? And Thanks yeah, for stopping, just, guys. Yeah. See you soon. God, it's gonna be badass. <laughs> I can't wait to see it with color. So a little bit about the gas monkey style is I like to use raw things that have been out there. You know, we, we buy and sell and, and fix up old used cars and make them new and make them better and, and repurpose them. And that's kind of what I'm doing with the bar. That's kind of our style. I brought in uh, two full truckloads of uh, really rustic tin like this to dress these old buildings and a little bit on the inside. And the reason is this, this stuff came off a hacienda in South Texas that had been on the roof since 1937. Then this bar was inside. Pull it out here, repurpose it. We're gonna put a different top on it. 
and whammo jammo, we'll be good to go for another bar out here. I don't like throwing things away or seeing them go to the junkyard uh, if it's able to be recycled or repurposed or reused. And uh, that's kind of a little bit about our style, but we don't put out junk, we make it better. doing something that me and Steve uh, at Rusty Buffalo cooked up. I don't know how well it's going to work, but we'll find out. Now, we need some ladders because we need to see how far out the chains go and where they end up at. It's perfect. <laughs> That's fucking tits. All right, so good job. It's, uh, I think we're two, three percent off and we're gonna hang lights on it. So that's gonna take care of it. Let's uh, pull this big old man, well, boy uh, lift out of here. I'm a man. <laughs> Not with that voice. <laughs> I bought a 47 Indian Chief that has been in a barn up here in the Black Hills since the 80s and is just literally perfect. And I was thinking, you know what? This needs to be the centerpiece to my bar. We're gonna pivot this front tire up here so help him balance that, okay? Three, two, one. Stop for a second. Get Don't your rest. Yep. Okay. Come on. Three, two. Okay, that's it, that's it. That's about where we're gonna be. All right. All right, are we ready? One, two, three, go. Hit the muscle. What you like All right. Uh, just lean it on the wall for a second. Okay. Okay. Take a break, guys. Fucking good moves. Money. Good job. It's hit. A lot easier. We didn't mess up the bar top. about right after this speaker, the ass in. No, I think if you go at an angle like that, and then you it'll light up this hallway, and they can see it from all the way over there. I like it. It should be very cool. That, once we pull it backwards, is almost perfect. Rick, if you, or Steve, uh, uh, Mabry, if you're about six inches off the wall, if you aim for that, and then once we pull it back, that should be right, but you also can drop, uh, probably, yeah, drop like that. There you go. Uh, Steve, you're now uh, still too close to the wall, and you're now too close to the wall. Uh, there you go. Actually, no, bring it back. Yeah, you get there, and you get, yeah, whatever your touching part is, which is your top. If you're four inches off the wall in each other's respective spot right now, you're pretty fucking, you're pretty fucking gold.
There we go. All right, be careful. Don't drag the wires down. Let's take a look. High five. That was like a one and a half. We have accomplished much. This is a day on building Richard's Museum. This is starting to look kick-ass. This is the part of the, the project that I enjoy the most, throwing the gas monkey spin on it, making it, you know, kind of my own and, and what have you. Uh, you know, believe it or not, um, you can buy some stuff and throw some tin signs up that you get from the distributors and do whatever and open a bar. But it's really hard to collect all the, the special items that we have that we're putting in here. I mean, we've got a 47 Indian chief up on top of the bar over here. Uh, we've got some really special lights. We've got a 750 uh, CB chopper up there. Oh, we've got some wicked, wicked stuff. And this is not even half of it. So let's go in and see how our banner's doing. This is probably the biggest thing I'm having made for the bar <laughs> by about 40 feet. What it is, what it is. Richard, brother. How we doing? Here it is. I like that red, that's, that's a cool red. Yeah, I darkened that up. We'll get this done tonight. I'll sew some corners on it tomorrow. What do you mean get it done tonight? The paint. This is the last part? Yeah. All that's done. 35 foot of paint. Wow. And then I'll dirty it up a little bit. I'll make you a carrying case for it. That's pretty rad. A carrying case, I don't, I don't know if I need that. I'm gonna go in a couple blocks. You're gonna take this thing down. We're gonna store it real nice. Oh, make sure yeah, no critters get that. it. Really take care of it. Yeah. Mouse get in here and eat this thing up in the winter. Mouses? I hate those Mises to pieces. Those bastards. <laughs> Here it is. That's really, really cool. Once you get a little bit of the, the funkiness on it, yep. what'd you call it? Red dirt? Goo. I don't know. Yeah, we'll antique that thing up, make it look real nice. Now I'm gonna put these leather corners on it. We have the option of doing an inch and a half belt. Kind of oh. like a faux tie down strap. Yeah. That would reach over to the pole. Yeah, I'll leave it that up to you. Yeah, that'd look cool, you know? Make it look like the real deal. And Hell yeah. Yeah. I no, I really like the red. That's super rad. Yep. A little darker. This is freaking crazy. You know, we got the lights going up right now, too. And then I put some, uh, some like, commercial-grade round light bulbs, you know, just following that whole triangle of the sail I put up. So they'll be dangling right above this or right along it. Beautiful. Well, super cool. I'm going to let you uh, stay in here and, uh, I guess, get a little stoned on this. It smells good. I'm going to pound it out. It's going to be cool, man. I'm excited. It's Make good. Make sure you put a little uh, signature or something down on there. You know it. He told me you wanted 300 for this? Yeah, how'd you know? That's what he said. Yeah, I'll give that to you for three bills. I thought it was free with a 48 foot banner purchase. We'll take that back and hang it up. Yes, sir. All right, sir. We're getting out of here for real this time. Before I spend any more money. It even says Gas Monkey Banner right there on there. We ain't messing around, boys. All right. How much does that thing weigh? 40, 45. Yeah. 
So let's see what end we have here. Let's get her spun around this way. Grab that end, walk it on over. Stand on that thing. Got it. That is so freaking kick ass. I'd try it if it gets dirty. It just keeps going. <laughs> that is so badass. Is that going to look killer or what? What do you say, brother? Fucking love it, man. Good job. <laughs> that is awesome. All right. Well, nothing to it but to get some stringers. Where's that bucket of uh, carabiners? Welcome to day one of uh, what we call pre-rally. The rally's not starting for a couple of days, but uh, I just got here. Uh, Levi's been killing it on the construction. Everything's looking kick-ass, and uh, I'm nervous as hell because we spent a bunch of freaking money, but it's gonna be the coolest place there is, and uh, I'm pretty excited about uh, having gas. What up, Mike? <laughs> How Mike you doing, good. man? Place looks great. Well, I've been working. You Where'd you go? Ireland, Scotland, <laughs> Italy? Well, I've been taking my time getting there. It's where you can put me to work. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this would be a good time to go the day before the thing starts. Fucking hey, come on in, man. I got all kinds of toys going on. What? Oh, hell yeah. A little different than when we bought the place. A little different. Not so much diamond plate and orange and black, uh, but, uh, you know, I went off of uh, the two or three of our meetings and uh, what have you, why you've been gallivanting all over the world. <laughs> I've been working. This is something we have at, at all of our places and people just dig it because it's a little bit of a, I tell people when they're staring at it, I'm like, this is all the stupid things I did to get where I'm at. <laughs> you know? uh, we redid the casino room. We're all merch out there. Um, and we're going to have merch under tents during the season and cold beer and everything outside. Full bar. That was, that was not expected. Yeah. That was a little bit expensive. <laughs> a little bite too. I felt it. <laughs> that would that would hurt. But uh, I think we did well. You know, I was I was talking with uh, with Daphne, and she was super pissed because she's like, "You're going to pay a million dollars for that?" And I was like, Daphne, I said, if you combine it with what we bought the land for, and then what we're spending on dollying it up and making it kick ass, then uh, you you throw the the liquor license on top. I said that kind of negates our. Uh, our exposure because right. I think we could sell it right now with those licenses intact for what we have in it uh, so I feel much safer having it what about you well I'm glad we had it because I'd have to go somewhere else to drink because I only drank crown on a diet well there you go <laughs> we need you here we only got a drink hey, 22, run, him, run him a tap we only got a drink 22,000 of them to cover that million 22,000 <laughs> crown and diets covers it all right well, we're, we're, what are we on like seven <laughs> It's early. We got but all no, there. it's really kick-ass. This Indian is is an art piece as much as it is an investment. Uh, I brought this thing uh, up here in the Black Hills, and uh, it's a 1947 Indian Chief, wow. all original. I got it for 15 grand, wow. and sitting here like it sits, I think it's worth 25 to 30. 
and over time it's just going to go up. So it's a super dope bike. Uh, I haven't found all the accoutrements for up here yet, but I'm going to have like some old racing helmets or racing goggles up on there and maybe racing trophies. And then hanging on the rack here, I want some badass leather jackets and uh, maybe, you know, they used to race not only in leather, but they wore heavy sweaters. So if I can find some of that stuff, we're going to do a pretty cool thing uh, here in a couple of days where I'm trying to get um, people to bring stuff here that has history uh, that maybe they have in their basement or their garage. Like local people? Yeah, local people, whatever. And I want them to bring cool shit here uh, that I can barter, uh, or you and I, if you want to be a part of it, we'll just sit on a stool, they can come at the table, <laughs> and we'll be like, this is pretty cool. Hopefully they give it to us uh, and we put it on display, but if not, we'll, we'll, we'll try to buy it if it's cool enough, and uh, we'll put it up in different places around. Because this is all a bunch of stuff I've been collecting for a very long time, but now it's time to get the local flavor in. And there's a lot of flavor here. There's some there's some dudes that you'll meet this week that'll blow your mind. They've been coming to this rally for 30 years, 40 years, 50 years. Uh, I mean, this is the 84th. And whatever we think we do this year, I am told to expect to double it next year because it'll be a, a, an 85th. And then the 90th, then the 95th, then the 100th. And uh, if you and I make it that far, <laughs> May have it to stop should be a the good ground. time. <laughs> Let me show you the merch area. So as you know, this was the casino. It's all dark. So open it up, gas monkey style. Uh, put a few things in here. The girls are still unpacking the boxes. They're just getting here. So all this empty shelf space. And when I put this in, I was like, what the hell are we going to do in the corners? And then I had uh, a couple of those extra spools. So now we have shelves. Oh, that's cool. You Look at this, dude. Sh You're going to make money on that. <laughs> I, I think it's going to turn out great. We're 85% uh, we're done. The rest of it's just finesse and, and cool style. And uh, Not bad course, for 12 weeks. Not bad. <laughs> uh, and, and, and uh, you know, we got it done, but uh, we'll have tents outside slinging uh, merch, and we've got a bar outside to sling shots and beer and what have you. We make our money three months out of the year. The rest of the time, as long as it's uh, a local favorite, good food, and then it pays its bills, me and you are happy. I'm just having and, glad to have a place to eat when I come up here. Speaking of food, I'm going to go check the kitchen, make sure it's good. You rustle up to the bar, and uh, I already told these girls, you don't even drink for free. You got to run a tab, man. I don't mind We're running paying. a legitimate <clears throat> business here. Stuff's cheap here. <laughs> Let's see what's happening in the kitchen. What? Look at how much more room there is in here. Hey, sir. How, how's things rolling? Good. It's getting it's stuff prepped up, firing stuff up, sauteing some onions for the day. Getting well, it's prep. only 1030, so. Got to be ready. You got to get rolling. There's prep stuff. I love this. I can't wait to be choppy chop and do stuff. We'll get you in your plane with some things. I'm going to play right now, man. <laughs> is that how you do it? Turn and flip. Turn and flip. Turn and flip. So everything's... What does that mean? Did the order just come in? Yeah. Got a couple going. It says one build a pie. What does that mean? We make pizza. Well, I know, but what, what kind? You don't... We're testing the system a little oh, bit. On there. Oh, okay. All Making right. sure it prints right. But I got to order wings in right now. They got two and a half minutes left to go for a customer. And they go in here? Yep. And then they put just come out. Put them in, drop them, hit the button, walk away. They just fall out the bottom when they're ready. Right on. I knew a girl like that. Well, you still might know a girl like that. <laughs> <laughs> this extra space is way more badass. It's huge. It's huge. Because it stopped like right here. Yeah. Yeah, the, this is way better. The extra workroom space, the equipment is way better. We got like that. marinara, all the fixings for dogs and, and burgers. This what? pizza line. Man, this is kick ass. I want to come in and cook. You got the. We'll so, get, do we have to fire up the uh, the ovens like early in the day to get the pizza ovens going? Or um, the pizza ovens, I turn them down at night, turn them back up in the morning, but they get right up to temp in about an hour or two. So, they stay on 24 hours a day? I just turn them down at night so they're not burning as much gas, but the stones need to stay hot. Otherwise, they take a lot of long time for the stones to heat back up again. Okay. Well, I am a pizza freak, and I've always wanted to have a pizza oven, and now I have two, and <laughs> I still don't know what the fuck I'm doing. We'll make one. All right. I want you to teach me. When you get hungry, we'll make one. All right. Kick ass. Now, this is great. This is your new home, and you can see the bartenders, and you can just we sit can... there and think, God, if I could only have a drink, and... 
and cook. Not till I'm done. Yeah, that's when I'm not here. <laughs> right now you gotta obey the rules. <laughs> right on! All right, so you know I like to get a little crazy and put out something that nobody expects. And uh, I got with my friend Joe Dirt and uh, their friends at Mopars 5150. You've seen those guys on my show. And they actually bought the Hemi Daytona from the movie Joe Dirt. And it's going to be here so people can take pictures with it, hang out with it. I hope they throw mustard and hot dogs at it, personally, because it's a pretty ugly car. But it's badass, and it's in the movie. And... Uh, all I gotta do now is figure out how to get Kid Rock here. Working on that. So what we have here from my friends over at Kelderman and Mopars 5150 is the Joe Dirt Daytona uh, from the movie. Super kick ass. I would kill to own this car, but he was nice enough to lend it to me for the weekend. And we're going to have a little fun, let people take some pictures. And, uh, you know, other than the Thomas Crown Affair Mustang, it doesn't get any fucking cooler than this. Fucking kick ass. <laughs> Hey everybody, what's up one last time? I want to thank everybody. I know it's only three o'clock in the afternoon on opening day of the 84th year of the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally. Wow! And let me tell you something, 84 years ago, they didn't think that there'd be a fucking monkey on this corner, did they? <laughs> I want to thank my good friend, Mike, uh, for going on this venture with me. I hope everybody raises a toast. I got to get one somewhere and uh, Let's hear it for Gas Monkey Sturgis. Get you some of that. Kick ass. Yeah. Good job, sir. All right, you guys, tip your waitress and waitresses. Because uh, we need it. I'm getting me some of this. Look, I'm getting it right now. All right. Thank you, guys. Let's party. Let's fuck this place up. day of the rally and we are already packed. I cannot even believe it. Like you hear of the horror stories when I was looking at buying a place out here. The girls that come in and want to work, they make a little fast cash, then they want to party, they want to call in and not come to work. It's a nice day, they probably met some dude, they're out riding. So we're short about five people that I can count. A little rusty. 
I uh, hadn't slung t-shirts like this in a long time. Uh, a lot of people remember the very first of the days we had an old 64 uh, Econo line van. Uh, we called it the swag van. I still have it and uh, I guarantee you we slung a lot of merch out of that thing the first few years and I'm rusty. So we gotta go, you know, see our guys over here. Corn dog with no name. We brought them in from Texas. Uh, best corn dogs you ever had, and uh, they've been giving us hell all week. So now it's my turn. Let's go mess with these boys a little bit. What's up, guys? Yeah, y'all didn't think y'all was gonna get out of here without getting, you know, on camera, did you? Yeah, look at you. Don't be shutting down on me now. Hey. How's it going? How are y'all loving it? I mean, why's it going? Oh man, you know we're over here. We're rocking and rolling. It's the first year in Sturgis. We're uh, having a good time. We you know, living life, the American dream. We're uh, doing corn dogs, funnel cakes, serving curly fries, fried pickles. Uh, but it's it's a high one. But we're rocking and rolling today, boss man. Hold on, you said when the hell do we get fried pickles? I'd have been on that. <laughs> man, it's a surprise, man. You know we like to surprise the people as they come. You know what I mean? You hiding shit from me. <laughs> Well, I mean, y'all y'all making good way. Y'all making good some money. I mean, yeah. right, we're making some, man. We're making a little bit of money here. You know, we're not here for the looks, but sometimes we're here for the looks, man. You never know. But we're rocking and rolling. We're uh, waiting. The rally barely started. We're waiting for the people to roll in. The motorcycles are roaring. So it's going to be a good one today, man. Well, we just got a few days left, man. So uh, hopefully we make it through. I know y'all been here long as we have. What is this date? What is it? 10, 20, 50? Seven, I don't know. Dude, I lost count. I thought I was on a whole different year already, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I won't bother y'all anymore. Y'all back here hustling. And, uh, dude, I hope y'all make some money, man. Yes, sir. I appreciate it, man. Y'all come check us out. Corn Dog with no name. We've been here for what now? Two and a half months? Yeah. Sporadically. 19 and days consistently. <laughs> has it really been 19? Yeah. Yeah. So my, my buddy feels it. I now know my limit. <laughs> right? Ah, they, hey, it was successful. I think we paid a little bit of education tax. I mean, that's, you know, fully to be expected for a couple of guys that built the bar in 12 weeks. Yeah, we did. And it, it, it got a lot of compliments. Um, I had a ton of people genuinely raving about the food. Usually, if your food's bad or average, they won't really say anything. They don't care. It's a biker rally. But if your food's good, you know, they'll tell you. Quality is great, but we can get some gadgets that make food come out quicker. Yeah, it's, it's throughput. You know, our wait times were 30, 40 minutes, you know, and that, you know, it just, and we were short style. What do you think was most notable? Uh, it was fun to watch when you were here and people react to you. I mean, this place lit up when you, when you hit the door. I know you slept well at night because I, I can't believe you take three, 400 pictures a day. <laughs> oh, thousands. It was, it's, and, and you got to be nice to everybody. By the time, a few times just heading up the hill, I fell asleep in the back seat of the car, just going home. It was uh, fun to watch. So the energy of this place was good. It was off the charts when you hit the door, though. I mean, well, you know, you have a great brand. Your fan base loves you. You know, and I feel like we did, a, you know, we didn't do any damage to the brand. I think we made it better. I mean, like you say, the food was good. I think people had a great experience. I mean, I don't know. I thought we did great considering it was our first year. I know you've got a laundry list of stuff. I got a notebook full of stuff. You know, we'll start to work Monday and here we go. We got 12 months. Can I leave that Monday off? No. God dang, dude. Hell no, we got another. You, know, you got a business to run. I got a business to run. <laughs> yeah, we, we, got our, we got our actual day jobs to do. <laughs> exactly. And then uh, I'm at least got to pop up here in a couple of weeks for the yep. Deadwood Nights. Yeah, I, I think I may run up here with you. Not, yep. but, Yep. And then there's a big ATV rally in uh, September. Obviously, I love that. I want to come up here for that. I mean, you know, we're going to be here a lot. We, I was here a lot before. I mean, like we've said all along, this isn't just a rally thing for us. I mean, we're here year round. I mean, you got a house up there? Exactly. We're I got a here. place to crash. My kids it's came great. up last night. They've had a blast. They were asking when they could come by. So we learned a lot. We killed it. Uh, I don't know the tail of the tape till probably Monday and we get everything together, but uh, what do you think's next? I mean, are we going to try to attack that other building for next year? I think we attacked that. Now the building, we had a second layer. We put a temporary permanent bar out there with four bartenders out in the parking lot and keep these uh, these round pool, spools that we've got out there. Like you said, we just need more people, right? So I think we built us a badass gas monkey bar out there. And then we elevate that second floor, finish that building in there, make that a VIP, kind of like the event we had for uh, Indian that night. That was yeah. a perfect place for them to be over there. And I think if we had a deck up there, but I think we got to go tall. If we go above the sail, people would be just like, 
I mean, that's up there in the air. I don't and the know city how already kind of said we could go up to three stories. That's what I, was, I didn't know what the city will let us do, so that kind of dictates that. And then obviously, you know, we'd like to have that house right there. That sure would be a good place to go disappear in the middle of the day. That house has been there since 1893 and in the same family. I know, that's what I've heard. So I talked to them and they said, yeah, we don't know for sure, but we'll, we'll think about it. Uh, they might end up leasing it to us for a few years and then we buy it or something like that. But uh, super kick ass, man. I am happy. My bike turned out good. People dug it. And uh, the whole the whole thing was pretty bitching. It was fine. Um, it was exactly what I thought it was going to be. Just I mean, a little that's... note for you uh, viewers. It was a pain in the ass. And it was a big ass learning curve. <laughs> and we stumbled a little bit. But in general, like uh, Mike calls, that's the education tax. You know, your screw ups are what you learn from. So uh, here we go, man. Cheers. Appreciate On the 85th it, year. Thank Next you. year, be here.